I think in the UK we're really good at developing new things, at pushing boundaries, at not being constrained by the way things have been done before. We've got a great legacy, a great heritage of, of design uh, and indeed of manufacturing. We led the last industrial revolution and this is the new green industrial revolution if you like. And the innovation in this country I think is second to none. You would have thought that after a hundred years of the combustion engine, we knew exactly what was going on. But the answer is, we're still only really touching the surface. We work with the University of Brighton. In the UK, we have some of the best graduates who really are motivated to come up with new innovative ideas. We are a specialist in lightweight vehicle structures. Really with the light, lightweight carbon structures that we're focusing on, vehicles need smaller engines, so there's less energy that has to be stopped in an accident. Smaller powertrains need less cost to develop and make. It's a completely virtual cycle. Electric and hybrid electric work, particularly where there's defined back-to-base operation, a relatively limited mileage, and an ideal application for that certainly is a full electric vehicle. You can reduce CO2, but you can also reduce NOx, local emissions. Really, it's a combination of seeing more manufacturing and seeing that innovation coming from the UK that really excites me. model that we have for designing, building and selling cars has been optimised around steel bodied cars with combustion engines over a very long period. There are a lot of very, very good and clever things being done with alternative technologies. The appropriate use of different fuels and different powertrains should be targeted at different niches on the basis of efficiency. If you combine a fuel cell which gives you range and very rapid refueling with a cheaper battery and smaller batteries and you package them together, you have the best of both worlds. You have the acceleration given to you by the battery and you have the range given to you by a fuel cell.